Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. Um, so I am up. It is 5.16 in the morning. So I am officially up and I am about to get ready for the gym. I live with my boyfriend and he's sleeping. So I can't record in my room. So no, I do not sleep in my kitchen, but this is where I can record since he is still sleeping. I am up and I am getting ready to go. So this is usually my schedule. So I wake up at five. I do five minutes of silence. So no phone, no nothing. Once I turn my alarm off, no phone. Just put it back down. Just sit, say some silent prayers, you know, thank God for another day because I am grateful to be here, okay? So I do that. And then um, sometimes I'll do like a 10 minute guided meditation real quick. Um, that's when I'll pick up my phone because I usually do it on my phone or my iPad um, just so I can listen to it. And yeah, then I get up, I brush my teeth and I get my day started. So that's where we're at right now. And, you know, excuse me and all my bonnet goodness, but this is how I sleep and this is how I wake up, okay? Just put my gym clothes on. I am going to get ready to head to the gym. Um, so I do this four days a week. And today is day three for this week, so really happy about that now it is time to go make my pre-workout shake and get this day started okay. now it is time to make my pre-workout drink so i can be in the gym pumped up you know who else needs to get pumped up before the gym i'm actually always pretty much ready to go to the gym always pretty much in a good mood so i'll take that so right now i am recording on my iphone but here is my regular camera with my mic so i'm about to set this up on my lovely tripod that i just got myself and we are going to record now this is my first vlog i have no idea what the hell i'm doing so bear with me and i hope that this comes out good but i don't know how it's gonna come out so pray for you girl bear with me have some you know patience with me and yeah because this is not easy so shout out to everybody that is doing this because just remembering to pick up the camera and talk and record and do these things is difficult when it's not something that i would normally be doing i am about to strap this little baby on and then i'm gonna come back and talk to you guys as i make my pre-workout and we're gonna hurry the hell up because it is 5.27 and I need to get the hell to the gym before six o'clock. So let's see how fast we can do this. Boom, I set it up. Oh yeah, I set it up. Oh yeah, mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll make sure that I will link to this tripod down in the description below. So back to what I was saying. So we are about to make our pre-workout and we are gonna get this energy going. So I use this. Um, it's called Amino Energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just working with my camera here, trying to get things in order so you guys can actually see how I look. We're going to just stick with mild because I don't need to be bouncing off a damn wall. As you can see, I already have energy and it is 530 in the morning. Um, so before I annoy myself with any more energy, I'm just going to take two of these put it in my little blender bottle shake it on up and get my behind sorry i'm digging in my dishwasher and get my behind ready for the gym I really hate when somebody drinks the last water or the last of the juice or the last of the whatever and doesn't replenish it. But that's neither here nor there. We're gonna keep getting ready. everywhere 
All right, so we mixed it all up here in our blender bottle and we are about to drink it up. I'm going to try to drink it as fast as possible. If you know, well, a little fun fact about me, I take forever to eat and forever to drink and everybody hates it, but that's just how I am, so. All right, so, got my Adidas hat on. Got my tank top on. Adidas, you should sponsor me if you're looking for somebody. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Wear you guys all the time. We're out of the house on our way to the gym. It is 5.46 in the morning, hence dark outside. I really do like going to the gym in the morning. At first, the idea of this was like, are you dumb? Like, I'm not getting up, but now, I have to like <laughs> I feel crazy the days that I don't go to the gym like I said I go four days a week today is day three for this week so I'm actually on week eight and this is day three of week eight on my 12 week challenge that I started for myself so I'm super proud I think this is the longest that I've been consistent um and I feel good like Look at me, I got mad energy. I'm talking like a damn motor mouth at five something in the morning, not sleepy. I just went to bed at like 121 because I was working on some things for the business, running on literally like three and a half, four hours of sleep. So I should be tired and I should be cranky and I should have an attitude, but I don't. So yeah, I will definitely take that. So I would definitely advise if you're not necessarily that much of a morning person and you wanna become one, try this method of getting your behind up and heading to the gym pretty early it does set the tone for the day it does give you a lot more energy um me personally it works i'm not saying it's gonna work for everybody y'all might just hate me and curse me out but for me it's good um and i hope you guys can hear me because it's super loud out here i don't know why it's so much traffic but we're on a maiden road but anyway we are about to walk into the gym so stay tuned i think i'm gonna try to record my workout so we'll see how many people are in here because i hate when people are staring at me i still feel very weird about like recording in public um i get nervous with people looking at me it's pretty different when i can just do it at home and nobody's watching um so this is a little different for me but we're gonna see how this goes and hopefully it's empty officially done as you guys can see i look super gross super sweaty my face is all flushed look like crap but i feel amazing so i will definitely take that I'm definitely on this weight loss toning up journey i hate when people tell you oh you don't need to lose weight girl you see that it needs to go i don't need no muffin top no muffin arms no grandma arms. I don't need none of that. I'm too young for that. So we're gonna get this body toned and get it right. I have so much energy right now. I'm ready to conquer my day. So that's it. I have my sweet sweat band on. If you use this, let me know how you feel it works. What type of like waist trainer slash sweat bands do you guys use? Cause this one is kind of old and it's kind of, I need a new one, so I'm trying to decide if I want to buy another one of these, whether it's the Pro Series or a different brand. So if you guys have any suggestions on that, let it play, you know. But that's it. Time to head home, take a shower, and get ready for the day. Okay. So 
morning workout is officially done. I am feeling great, feeling energized. <sighs> Gotta catch my breath. The sun isn't even out yet. Street lights still on, but guess what? Your girl done worked out. I am here sweating with my post-workout glow that y'all can't see because the sun don't wanna shine today. But it's all right, because honey, I'm shining. All right, boo-boo? Okay, so I am officially back in the house. Everybody's up, my baby's in the shower. And I am about to hop in the shower, but before I do, I just wanted to show you guys real quick how I set the tone for my day. So this here is my desk space that I have set up. So as you can see up there, I have a board in which I write in every day to set the tone for what I wanna get done that day. Um, so this is actually another productivity hack um, that I picked up from Erin On Demand. So shout out to her in which I basically set a top three goals that I wanna get through for the day. Give or take, if you do this five days a week, that's 15 tasks a week. So that's a lot of you can get done, which helps you be way more productive, more productive and getting your goals accomplished and just really being more intentional about your day and how you spend your time. Like I said, I have a full-time job, plus I'm doing entrepreneurship on the side. I'm a mom, so there's a lot of things that I'm juggling. Um, so being more effective with how I use my time is going to help me be able to do all the things I need to do without anything falling you know, at the wayside or anything you know, lacking or whatever. So I typically like to sit um, I have a planner here that I use. So I look at my planner. I do, I try to um, write in my planner on Sundays to kind of figure out what my week is going to be like. So any doctor's appointments or anything that I know that I have to do, like I know certain days, for instance, I have to record. Um, Wednesdays is usually a recording day for me. I want to show you guys um, how I do my top three for the day. Now, Keep in mind, some days the top three dishes did not get done. Like everything doesn't always get done, but there always is an intention to get through things. And some things take a little bit longer than others. So sometimes I set too much of a lofty goal that isn't going to get accomplished. But to me, two out of three ain't bad. Whatever didn't get done, I'm just gonna push it to the next day. Um, but I try to make it a prior. I will say as far as the top three is that you need to also attempt to time block with that. Now, if you set all of these goals to accomplish for the day, but you don't set any time aside to actually get to doing those, you're more than likely not gonna be able to get it done. And I also think about what the actual task is and try to figure out how long that's going to take. So for instance, if I know that I need to record a video, recording takes a lot of time for me. I'm still new to this. Um, so it definitely takes me a good chunk of time. So for me, recording is like literally like a three, four hour process. Like honestly, especially depending on what the content is about. I have to get ready. I have to do my hair. I have to do my makeup. I have to do all of these things right now, you know, your girl's looking a little busted and disgusted, <laughs> but usually I don't look this bad on camera. So that does take time. Um, another little productivity hack that I have for that is that, for instance, um, on Wednesdays, I'm lucky enough that I get to work from home three days a week. So three days a week, I don't really have any commute. I'm commuting to my desk, <laughs> which is right here in my living room. So thank God for a small miracle. Um, I actually do have to get my behind ready for work so I don't be late. Um, am I the only person that has to decide, like, for instance, if they're running late, whether they're going to do their hair or their makeup? Like, which one is more important to you? Comment in the comments below and let me know which one is more important to you. So if you are rushing and you have to choose between your hair and your makeup, which one are you doing? Me personally, I'm doing my makeup because... Okay, I need the face to look put together. I need the brows to be browning. Okay, they ain't browning right now, but... I'm gonna fix myself up. So if I gotta be choose between putting this hair and getting some curls or straightening it or doing this makeup, the makeup is always going to get done more often than not. So it is actually 7.02 now. I need to get my ass ready <laughs> and get up out this house. And then I like to do 10 to 15 minutes of um, meditation. 
which I didn't get a chance to do this morning because I was kind of rushing and it's kind of hard to do that and record. I told y'all this whole vlogging thing is new for your girl and it's hard. So I didn't get a chance to do that. But what I will attempt to do is probably do it this evening before I go to bed. So just start your days with better intentions, more positive thoughts, more, um, more intentional actions to help you have a better day. It was a pleasure talking to you guys. I'm going to show you my top three, which I done said for the 50th time, but I'm going to show you my top three for the day. And then I am going to go get my behind in the shower and get ready for my day. So stay tuned. To write out what we need to do. And yeah, so first thing, record morning routine did that so i already got that done target I need to make a target run on my lunch break so that's definitely something that i have to do today and then three is going to be post on social accounts so i kind of like to set the intention to make sure that i post on all my social media um, at least once a day, whether it's a story or actual feed post, I have some things written out, so I'm going to do that. And I do have, a since I technically already got this done, that's kind of cheating. So I'm going to set one more for the day, and that is to look at properties. So I need to look at some properties for a buyer that I'm working with um, that's purchasing a home. So I do need to look um, look at some of the properties and get that together. So I'm gonna do that today. That's something that's important. But yes, these are my top three for the day. Once again, excuse my ugly handwriting. And it's also hard to be cute when I'm holding a tripod, but that's neither here nor there. So this is my top three for the day. Try to set your intention of getting three things done for your day, or if not, get you a little planner like I got here. I actually got this from Marshalls. So, so cute. You know, a girl should be two things who and what she wants, Coco Chanel. Make sure you get to your top three for the day. And once you do that, let me know how that works out for you. I hope it works out super, super well. And make sure you make today amazing. Focus 2020, that is our theme for the year. And make sure you work hard. And I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later, bye. So I am officially on my way to work. Just wanted you guys to see me in all my glory. I did get myself together. Um, as I told y'all, I had to pick today between makeup and hair. And as you can see, the makeup won. It's difficult for a lot of people to fathom the idea of getting up at 5 a.m. That's really how my life has been for these last three months. And I really do like it. And I really do see the benefits in changing your morning routine and setting a great intention for your day so morning routine is setting me up to be able to be more efficient in my job as well as more efficient in my side business and in my entrepreneurship journey because if i wasn't getting my ass up at five and really you know working to get things done before i go work for somebody else i'm working for me whether it's my body, whether it's my mind, whether it's my literal business, I'm working for me before I'm working for somebody else. And I do that every day. So setting that intention to focus on yourself and focus on bettering yourself is something that's super, super, super important. And I really want anybody who sees this video or you know who comes across it um, to really understand the importance of setting your day and setting your morning off correctly. That is my little spiel for the day. I'm tired of preaching. Um, or I hope I don't come off as preachy. It's not me trying to preach. It's not me trying to act like I'm better than anyone or anything like that. I, I'm coming from a place of wanting to share something that is helping me and is working for me. So if you take it and you run with it, awesome. If you take it and you say, girl, bye, awesome too. <laughs> Everything is not for everyone and it just might not be your time. And I understand that and I'm okay with that. But I definitely wanted to be able to share um, something that I really feel like has helped me in my journey, in my life, in my relationships. And 
just overall as a person and I hope that you take some of these tips and apply them for yourself and for your morning routine and I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon and see you on the next video bye